We are going to see if this dry, mature skin girl can wear a matte foundation. This foundation is being raved about, which I totally understand because you all know that I love the Forever Glow. But some women, no matter what type of skin they have, prefer a matte look. But sometimes the matte lipsticks and the matte foundations accentuate our age, and that's a no-no. It is an absolute no-no. So here I am, butt naked, my friends, and I want you all to see that, you know, I have sagging, I have folds. I do have some lines that you can't see because of the lighting in the room, but believe me, my friends, when I take you outside, you will see them. So the point and of trying it is to see can a dry, aging, mature skin woman with wrinkles, lines, folds, having a little bit of issue with the pores. Can she wear a matte foundation? And we are going to get into it right now, but first I'm going to tell you what I have on my face. I did do my regular skincare. If you want to know what skincare I'm using, although I have tweaked a few things and I've tried some new things, and I will be doing an updated AM and PM routine. But if you want to see, the links are always below for you to see what skincare I love. So my skincare is all laid down and my skincare has been on my face for about a half an hour. And then I follow up with my sunscreen I and only one. have a few sunscreens I can use on my face because my skin is very sensitive to sunscreen. So the one that I am using today and I am liking this, I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. I love the dry down of it. I love that it's not tacky or sticky and I love that it does not interfere with the application of my foundation. Very important to me. It is the ISDIN photo and it is the, I'm not gonna butcher that name again. It is the ultralight emulsion. Everything I talk about will be listed and linked below. Even things I mentioned that I don't share or show in the video will be listed and linked below. I also have my primer on now. If you follow me, where is it? I know I just had her. I also have a primer on my face for my pores. I have been using the Clarins Instant Poreless. I am almost out of it. It is very rare for me to go through a primer unless I love it. And lately I have a lot over there that I have not loved. So and many of you ask, where do the things go that you don't like or use? I have two sisters. I have nieces and I have friends that are more than happy to take my castaways. <laughs> so nothing goes in the trash can, nothing. Even if it's used a little, it goes to someone. My sister just got like mm, major boxes of clothes and makeup and just things that I, it's just clutter for me. I gave to my sister and she will hand them away to people she works with if she can't use them. So they all go to good use, my friends. All right, so the Clarins instant poreless a pore blurring mattifying primer i only use in the t-zone area i love it love it very hard to find i have to order it off of the clarence site or i can find it in store at ulta but not online i don't know why and for the rest of my face i use the colleen rothschild which i am totally out of every last drop of this absolutely love it i will get another one but for today, I have a little sample tube of a primer that I used to use years ago, and it's from Too Faced, so I just apply that on the outer part where I do not put the uh, pore controlling primer, because you know the pores, she's getting a little mouthy. She's talking back. <laughs> I don't like that. So All right, the canvas so has been prepared. Let's move on, my friends. So today, we are talking about Dior Forever, and this is the Transfer Proof 24-Hour Fine Foundation High Perfection Concentrated Floral Skin Care with Sunscreen. It only has an SPF of 15, my friends, and I do not rely on my foundation for skin care, as you all know, but it's a nice little touch. All right, so it comes in a one-ounce bottle. This is what the box looks like. This is the bottle, very beautiful, a frosted matte bottle. The color that I am wearing today is 25N. I have had to change my foundation from warm to neutral because of my hair. So uh, this will be me, my first time trying this color. Let's hope it works. 
The Dior foundations come in a pump, which I do like. What's really nice about this, and they also focused in on this for recycling, uh, this comes off. So you are able to get with a little beauty miser, the smallest of them, you're able to get in there and get the rest of your foundation. It also allows you before pumping to really look and see if it's gonna work for you. And I think this color may be very nice for me. So the foundation comes in 42 shades and I believe it's cool, neutral, and warm. And it costs $54 for the one on size. And it says Dior Forever, is the iconic no transfer foundation by Dior that offers a high perfection complexion with 24 hour wear. Now, I don't know if anybody on YouTube has worn it for 24 hours to say that it lasts, but that's not gonna be what I do today. Thanks to its formula composed of an 86% floral skincare base, this fluid foundation provides the skin long lasting comfort and lets it breathe, that's important to me, while lastingly improving your skin's quality. I'm gonna ignore that part. Test it in conditions of heat, and we're gonna test it in the heat today because when I'm done here, I'm gonna walk my girls and I walk each of them 30 minutes and I have to get out there before the sun gets too hot. So it'll be about, oh, I don't know, 9.30ish, 10 o'clock when I get out there to walk them. We walk in shade, but it has been oppressive here in Florida. It has been hot with the humidity being almost 100%. So it will be a good test today. So it says uh, it was tested in conditions of heat, sweat, and humidity. The Dior Forever Foundation offers a natural matte finish with no shine from morning to night. So it evens don't. out the complexion, visibly tightens your pores, and yes. smooths the skin. Now I'm going to be, uh, you, if you watch me, you know I prefer a glow. I do not like a matte finish. However, I do sometimes think a matte finish looks beautiful, but I've yet to find the one that does not make me look older or my skin look dehydrated. So. I'm having high hopes for this because people are really raving about it, and, but they have all been normal combination, normal oily uh, women or girls on YouTube. So uh, it says this new generation foundation is clean, formulated according to the strict list of ingredients, enriched with extracts of iris, wild pansy, rose, and nasturtium. It reveals a more beautiful skin day after day. And it said it's been tested on sensitive skin, and this is another thing, my skin, has done a little bit of a, a it's gone a little, taken about 10 steps backwards. It's becoming extremely sensitive to certain skin care again. So my skin, yesterday I was going to record to have my video up for Sunday morning, but my skin was so inflamed from a product I tried that I could not record yesterday. But I just slapped that Truth Treatment Omega cream on there, Omega 6 cream, and I'm telling you, it's a miracle worker overnight. So if you have, skin that just gets really irritated or products bother, you may wanna try the Truth Treatment Omega-6 Cream. It is beautiful. All right, so 24 hour wear instrumental test was done on 20 women, only 20 women. women. And it says that 100% of women will be able to find their shade thanks to having 42 colors. Let's get on with it, my friends, okay? All right, so I have my handy-dandy little glass block, which I will list below. You can get it off of Amazon. So again, the color is 2.5N, and I'm going to pump it out so that you can see the consistency of the foundation. So it has a little bit of a run, so it's not super thick, but it's not super thin. The color looks a little light on the block, but I think it's gonna be okay. Now my body is very tanned, I wear sunscreen, but when I walk the girls, I still get color. It must be in my blood, my friends. I do tan easily, but I don't like to tan, <laughs> but I do get tanned. All right, so that is the consistency of the foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and use a sponge because this is my preferred method. You know, when I try brushes and uh, other applications, I'm just never really totally happy. So it's got to pass the sniff test. It's got to do the sponge test before I really love it. So I'm going to start out with a very small amount because these foundations usually have really good coverage. And I think this is a medium coverage foundation. So I'm just going to apply a little dot here and then I'll just put the rest on the sponge. And I'm gonna go ahead and start blending that down just to see 
the coverage and how much I need to put on. Okay, that was beautiful. It really was. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some on the high parts of my cheek. I'm going to do the top of my nose, by my lip, my chin, and I'll do my forehead. Where else? I'll do one here and one here, okay? And then I'll take a little bit on the sponge, and I'm really going to work it into the sponge. And I did soak up all that was left on my little block, so it's all in the sponge there. I'm start on my nose and just work out with it. I'm going to try not to go over and over with it with the sponge, because sometimes with these mats, it will lift up what you've already applied. It seems to be drying down quickly. It does have a scent, but it is Dior. It's always going to have a scent with Dior. I don't even know if they make anything fragrance free in Dior. Many years ago, I worked for Dior. And that's when I fell in love with it. It is a beautiful, beautiful line. Okay, so that is just on my face. It really is pretty. It's a pretty, pretty finish. So let's go ahead and do my forehead. See if we can cover my little age spot here. And this is considered, I would consider this um, the perfect application for me. I don't like super heavy. I just want something that is going to even my skin tone and almost look like I'm wearing nothing. But I know that other women prefer to have a little bit more on. So I think I'm just going to add a little bit more to the cheek area. So I will take one small little pump. Oh, I tried to take one little small pump and squirted it all over my robe. Not good thing these robes wash up well. It is a silk robe and everything will be that I have on or I'm using will be listed below. So you can go and find out where this fabulous robe is also from. I'm going to just apply a little bit more to the cheek area. This is where I have a little bit of discoloration from age spots and a little bit from rosacea that peeks through. It doesn't seem to be accentuating the pores right now. It really is a beautiful finish. So far it feels really comfortable on the skin. It's drying down nicely. I may not, I, I, I don't want to put any powder on. I want to leave it as is. The only thing I truly look for in my foundation is that it doesn't irritate my skin, for one, and that it gives me the ability to control the application, how much I actually want on my face. If it's real pasty and thick, it's going to, even with a thin layer, it's just going to be too much foundation for me. But this is not doing that. This is beautiful. It feels wonderful. There's no tackiness to it at all. It feels beautiful. It really does. The smell is there. It's very, very light. It is a floral scent, but it's not obnoxious. It's something I can handle. So uh, that is really, really nice. I don't know if I would take it up underneath my eyes because it is a matte foundation, um, but we are gonna see. Okay, now I'm already looking at this part of my face. And when I take my, this is a five time magnifying mirror that I have. Um, I think it accentuates it just slightly all of my age is in the lower part of my face. It is not really in the upper part. My under eyes are starting to, but um, when I go outside, you'll be able to see what I mean here, but the finish of it is absolutely beautiful, and we'll have to see how it wears. I think that is all I'm going to apply of it. I'm not going to, although there, it's still peeking through here, so let me just do a tiny little drop. Let me show you. It's just a tiny, tiny little drop that I'm trying, and I'm going to just put <clears throat> a little bit of it right here because I do have some age spots showing right there. And I got it in my hair, so it's making my, my whites look orange. You gotta be careful with that. Okay, so that did cover it up. So you may need to use just a little bit of some discoloration. I'm just going to do this side, but I will say it's applying nicely over itself. It's not a problem. Very nice. 
So that is the application. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my uh, makeup for today. I'm going to be trying the Anika, uh, the other palette. I'm going to put that on so you can see it on camera. And then I'm probably going to use an hourglass blush, and I'm going to probably use an hourglass bronzer. Because I am wearing a matte foundation, if I just go ahead and put matte on the rest of my face, it will definitely make me look old. So I do have to add a little bit of um, glow, but it's going to be in very small areas, and it will not affect the way the makeup wears or actually looks, because this part of my face, it's not the aging part. This part is the aging part. Maybe because I talk too much, you never know. All right, so uh, I will be right so back. we are back, and this is the finished look. I must say that this foundation feels weightless on the skin. It is, it really has a beautiful feel. You do not even know you have it on your skin. I like that about it. Now let's be real. I'm 62 years old, I have wrinkles. You can't necessarily see them right here because the lights do diffuse just slightly, but I have wrinkles. And no foundation is going to make them go away, but we don't want to accentuate. So right now when I look at this, I do notice the age and the lower half of my face, but it may be one of those things where I notice it more than other people because it's the part of me that I see aging the most, so maybe not necessarily so for the rest of the world. But um, the point of trying this foundation is to see can we, can those of us who have dry skin get away with wearing this without looking like, you know, we belong in a cemetery and this is a beautiful foundation no powder was put on my face it has a beautiful dry down i'm going to put it to the test because i am going out to walk my dogs as a dog owner that's my responsibility 30 minutes each day but in florida it's tricky i have to get out there early I do have an area that is all shade that they walk in and I just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until they get 30 minutes and they're very happy with it. But you have to think about their paws, their paws. The cement gets hot and it's too much on their paws. So back to the foundation. So it is very hot and humid and let me tell you, this girl sweats. I don't glow, I sweat. I mean, dripping down my face. So we will see how this foundation holds up. Now I'm a little worried about the mascara. I don't wear any makeup to exercise at all. I don't wear makeup to the gym. I don't wear makeup when I'm walking my dogs. It's always a clean face with just sunscreen on it. And sometimes the sunscreen gets in my eyes from my sweats and it burns a little. But we're gonna see how we do with this. I might come back with, you know, like raccoon eyes, who knows. Anyway, I'm sure you are all noticing this most incredible color stone that I am wearing. This is a new stone from Dean Davidson. It is in a lot of his signature pieces, no new designs, but the stone, she is so pretty. I had to share her. The stone is midnight blue. It is so beautiful. And this necklace here is the Manhattan gemstone pendant necklace beautiful it can be worn a little bit shorter depending on where you put the hook this is the signature necklace this is the larger i love this necklace so much and this one can be made shorter or longer just by the way you slide the chain along the little doohickey in the back i have the beautiful signet ring this is these two rings here it's hard for me to decide which one i love the most i love that they both sit low the, ca the castle ring is also available in the midnight blue oh she's beautiful i even did my nails in blue to go and the top i'm wearing i don't know if i'll be able to link it it is an older top from lily, lily silk some of you may remember it it's a really nice uh blouse but um i'll link it if i can the nail polish is from london town the liqueur and the color that i am wearing is title just a beautiful blue i, I thought it was spectacular with the ring and the top coat now i love this top coat from them it's their diamond shine top coat and i know you won't be able to pick it up but it just adds a little sparkle to the nails love it and because my nails are still in a little bit of a fragile state because of all the gels that i was wearing i am wearing the curl cur nail hardener and base gel all of it will be listed and linked below for you so let me get back to this beautiful stone 
This is the small version of the Empanema earrings. And then right behind it, I have three holes. I have the smallest of the signature in the midnight blue, but I also have the large. Oh my goodness, is she not gorgeous? Just beautiful. Look at that stone. And it will just look so great with the other two. Oh, I love it. Anyway, I had to share it with you. And of course, as always, Dean is very generous. Dean does send me jewels but I also buy jewelry from Dean. And so, as usual, Dean is so generous. He gives us a 25% off. So Tammy 25 will get you 25% off this beautiful, beautiful color. I didn't, I mean, I loved the ver, uh, verdant green. <gasps> love, love, love it. But this blue, oh my goodness, it's so perfect for my silver hair. I know that I need to start incorporating some silver jewels to go with the white hair and that, will happen soon, but I'm not getting rid of any of my others. <laughs> so I'll be wearing a little bit of both. And I wanted to mention something really quick. Last night I did my manicure on my own hands because I'm always so disappointed when I go into a salon and ask for a manicure. Nobody does manicures in the way that I was trained. And I was trained many, 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 many moons ago. And uh, that is the way I have always done my own manicures. Now they no longer soak nails. And I think it's so important to really loosen the cuticle, but they don't soak them because they say, oh, the nails expand with water. And then when you put the polish on and the nails dry, they shrink and you don't get long wear. Well, that makes no sense to me because they soak the feet. And I can go with a pedicure without my toenails chipping anything for a long time. Now I know we use our hands a little bit more, but if that's the case, soak your nails, do a really good manicure, and then let your nails dry naturally for an hour or two, and then polish your nails while you're watching TV or something. That's what I do. But anyway, I wanted to come and tell you, I did a video on this for the feet. It's the new 119 Platinum Peel instant foot peel i thought well you know from lifting weights i get these little calluses here and nothing really works on them i mean i've done hand mask everything so i thought you know what i'm gonna try this on my cuticles and my hands and i did last night i put this around my cuticles now i did put uh oil on just the nails i didn't put it on the cuticle just the nails to protect it because there is glycolic acid in here and i already have dry nails so i don't want it to be dry even though glycolic is a humectant i still wanted to protect them just a little bit because they're still in a little bit of a fragile state so. this works really well on hands look how my hands look great and i'll tell you you really do see it start to peel away there was no irritation from any of the acids that are in it so if you did get a bottle of this and your hands are a little rough give it a whirl try it you know if you need to try it on your hands i mean you rub it in your feet so obviously it's not bothering your hands but really nice. And then I just finished up with my Sunita Brightening Hand Cream, which I love. And you need very little of this hand cream and you just rub it in and it's just beautiful. Just beautiful. All right, my friends. So I'm going to head out and walk the dogs and I will be back. It will seem like this to you, but I actually will be back in probably about an hour and a half to see how this held up outside. This video is gonna be a little long again. <laughs> I thought I would come back and just show you that the Dean Davidson designs can also be worn in a very casual way and still look fabulous. And this is the midnight blue with one of my Target tank tops. $8 tank, looking like a million bucks. <laughs> I'm headed out to walk the dogs. What the heck? I thought I would come back and show you how it looks with a different style of top. This one is a t-shirt, but it's a little bit dressier because it has the puffy sleeves and everything will be listed and linked below. Now I'm really going to walk the dogs. So Harley and I are gonna head out on our walk and believe me, it has been months and months of training, but she is such, such a good girl now. So we start out with a little treat because she knows mommy has treats then and she behaves. She always walks on the right side of me. So we're gonna get started. Good girl, Harley. That's a good girl.
Okay, I am back from just walking Harley. I'm getting ready to take Lula out, but I think this is going to be a pretty good test and I really do have to remove my eye makeup because it's really burning my eyes. Now I think key here is don't touch your face. You know, once you get into wherever you're going, just let it kind of dry naturally. So I'm going to just take my fan. <laughs> and I'll just cool myself down so that I dry off a little bit. I'm really sweating here. Like I said, I, I don't glow, my friends, I sweat. But I love to sweat, <laughs> I really do. I just think it cleanses everything. But anyway, I'm just gonna cool myself down just a little bit and I'm gonna take a look at the foundation. Huh, the mascara actually held up really well. I thought for sure I was gonna come with mascara all over dots and everything. That mascara is pretty good and for sweat, it did not transfer on my eyelids at all, and that is the Anika mascara. So that was really nice, and these eyeshadows did not sweat off in 32 minutes. The humidity is probably 100. When I'm done walking, I'll put in a screenshot, I'll put my, um, my watch uh, workout uh, up for you, so you can see, it'll tell me what the humidity is and everything. But um, yeah, the eyeshadows, that is the Anika eyeshadow palette, and it really did stay in place. It did not go anywhere, usually. All right, let's get on to the foundation. I will tell you, it totally wore off where my sunglasses are. Um, but the, I was sweating, I was wearing these, because I'm wearing contacts, so I wear uh, different glasses. So I was wearing these sunglasses, and they did keep sliding down because of the sweat. So it is completely worn off in that area. But if you're just out, walking around, running errands, you're not gonna sweat like this. But this was a really good test because of the humidity. I don't walk really fast with the dogs. Harley has a quicker pace than Lula. So we do walk a little bit quicker, Harley and I. But um, Lula is a very, she's always behind me. You know, woo, she's that kid. <laughs> but anyway, um, the foundation anywhere that my sunglasses did not touch um, is really still in place. It did not soak away. It's still on my forehead. I mean, you can see where I dripped on this side. So of course, it, it's going to pull the uh, blush and everything off and the bronzer off. But all in all, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I think if you're just sweating normal, like you have a um, hot flash, uh, most people who have a hot flash don't sweat like this, but I think it would really hold up. And I will say um, the sweat did cause it to uh, kind of disappear in there, but nowhere else. I, I have to say I'm, I'm not, I still prefer the glow because I'm just somebody who likes a glow, but I do have to say that it really um, does hold up well. And... Um, it, it also wore off here where the sunglasses were hitting as they slid down. It, uh, anywhere the sunglasses hit on the cheek part, it also wore off. But it, it did not wear off anywhere in here. Uh, it's still all over my chin. It's still in all the areas that it did not uh, touch my sunglasses. And I did not touch my face at all while I was walking. At one point I took this right here and I just went like this because the sweat was really burning my eyes. But it really, it's, it's good. I will probably not wear this one as much, but if I had something to go to that I really wanted it to last, because that is something that I have found here in Florida, it's almost, it makes no sense to put your foundation on because it just melts off. So that's why I wanted to try this. It's not something I would normally gravitate to. And you can see as the sweat dries, my face is a little itchy, but that's from the sweat. 
even when I don't wear makeup and I sweat, my face gets a little bit itchy, just in certain areas like here and around the eye area. But anyway, I've just pretty much dried my skin down. It really is pretty, okay? It's pretty. So ladies, if you are looking for something long lasting, but you have dry skin, I think it's worth trying. I would say to go light handed with your application because the more foundation we put on when we have texture to our skin or we have folds, lint lines or wrinkles, that's when it's going to really accentuate when we really pour it on heavy. So I have but to say that this is a win-win. It really is. It looks great and I, I really do think that it has held up well. Now as it's dried down in this area it does look a little cakey but if you're somebody who's out and about and you're not going to want just press it in. Don't really rub just press it in and it will help to soften that again. You see it really just softened it right out. Really nice. So that is it for my review. I really wanted to see how it held up in humidity because Many states are having really hot temperatures and high humidity, so I really wanted to give this a try, and uh, it is really nice. It's very, very nice. I think even wearing it all day long, if sweating didn't really budget, you're going to be okay wearing this all day long. So this is the Forever Transfer Proof 24-Hour Foundation in Matte. Go get yourself some, my friends. Everything that I used or am wearing will be listed and linked below. Any codes I have will be below. And I also wanted to mention that I think for my hair color now, this 2.5N is a perfect color. It did not oxidize either, which is really good. All right, friends, so that is it. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an Ageless Beauty, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button. There's a bell right next to it. We'll notify you of all the videos that I'm putting up. Until the next time, my friends, you go out in the world and be lovable, and remember, it is okay to love your age. And can we give a round of applause to my Harley? She is such a good walker now. She is fabulous. All right, my friends, I love you all. Bisous.